can continue by building our classification models. So we'll add a diagram. So we'll need to start by using a data source. So we'll start with our train data source. Um, and uh, remember before when we checked uh, data in Excel, achieve the same result by looking at it here. So it gives us a, a easy overview, a nice easy overview of our data. Um, there appear to be some um, missing data. So in some cases age is not there and so on. Um, so let me declassify this one as well. So anyway, if you hop onto the website uh, actually tells you where where data has been um, estimated so age the age is estimated it's in the form of xx dot phi um, so it could be a fractional number if age is less than one so for instance um, okay so um, perhaps we don't need to bottle with us at this stage and we can jump straight into building a first classification model so I uh, will use a decision tree decision trees are known to actually uh, work quite well with um, missing data as well um, so let me see if I need to make any changes here so it's not going to use the name variable and the passenger ID uh, variables uh, survive. It's going to be used as the target to train the model and so on. Uh, what else? I think we can start by uh, just uh, using the um, default um, settings. We can do this and then uh, we'll have to also, we know in advance that we'll have to assess the performance of the model, so why not just add the model comparison mode also at this stage. So uh, we can now uh, use com model comparison. Um, perhaps do we want to um, Right, that's easy to understand. So we'll just do as a percentage of correctly uh, classified observations in the training dataset. So let's run this and see what magic it does. look at the decision tree first. So I find it always helps if I can visualize the, um, the tree. So the first split was made on the sex variable, uh, male or missing or female. So I think um, uh, wherever we go to the left side of the decision tree it means that that person um, hasn't survived uh, and if we go to the right at the decision, um, it has survived. Um, so a second, so females were more likely to survive, I guess. It's consistent with the um, description of um, the Titanic case on the website. And then um, their passenger class was uh, also a good predictor. 
uh, in both cases. So um, looks like that uh, uh, males of a lower passenger class were less likely to to survive and uh, what's uh, interesting is uh, um, if they're a young man it's also less likely to survive and you would think that old men would uh, perhaps sac sacrifice themselves for young fathers and so on but uh, Whether someone had siblings on board, uh, if they had many siblings, perhaps they helped each other, so more likely to survive. Um, and an interesting peek at uh, well, so ticket was also used as a predictor. I thought we will exclude that from the model. Um, and then what was uh, important for females? So if uh, yeah, obviously a higher uh, passenger uh, class. Oh, it interesting. I hope I'm interpreting this correct. Yeah. This doesn't tell me anything about the overall performance of um, the model, so for that I'll have to look at model comparison and uh, look at results. So what do you think? the percentage are the correctly classified. Hmm. 